New details tonight on an officer involved shooting in West Dayton. Lydia by spoke with the neighbors and the Dayton police chief just hours ago. So Lydia, what exactly were you able to learn? That's right. So we now know that Dayton police officers were called to the scene of 701 North Broadway Street last night around 810 PM on a mental health call, and that's where they encountered 77 year old Otto Coleman and things escalated quickly. They found a subject armed with a knife, uh, despite multiple commands to drop the knife, and you'll see that in the video shortly. Uh, the subject refused to disarm and aggressively charged at the officers. Hey, sir, drop that knife. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Body camera video showing an officer involved shooting on Sunday evening after police say 77 year old Otto Coleman charged at a Dayton police officer while holding this knife. Coleman was shot at least three times, but is in stable condition at a local hospital. Where well, I know he was shot a few times, obviously uh, left side on the arm. I know he, his femur was injured and then uh, right leg or shoulder, chest. chest. We now know that Otto Coleman has an extensive criminal history and has been accused of assaulting a peace officer in 1998, 2000, 2010, and last night, August 11th, 2024. At the time of last night's officer involved shooting, Coleman was on parole from that 2010 incident after spending 12 years in prison. I asked Chief Offsall if Coleman has a history of mental illness. One of the uh, cases that he had uh, that, that was not a conviction, he was found not guilty with reason of insanity, I believe. We spoke to a neighbor about last night's incident, and she says a lot needs to change in West Dayton. When you look over there at, like, Fairborn and Kettering, the streets is better. <laughs> you can tell the difference. The, you, less crime, you don't have all that unnecessary stuff, because look at the stores. Look at our buildings compared to everything. Now, the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office will be handling the investigation into this officer involved shooting and Coleman may face charges because again, he was on parole at the time of this incident last night for that 2010 incident. Back to you.